Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your February 2019 general readings. I hope everyone is having uh, a very nice start to this beautiful new year. So thank you for joining us here today and welcome to any newcomers. For those of you who continue to follow my YouTube channel, uh, my regular subscribers, thank you for that and for all the support and feedback and comments you send in. And uh, for all of my clients out there, both regular and new, always thank you for keeping me so busy uh, in reaching out for those personal one-on-one -on -one readings, especially during the holiday season. Uh, always, it's a pleasure to read for you. Thank you. As many of you know who follow me regularly, if you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can get more info and contact details by going to my YouTube channel's homepage, clicking on that little about button, or you can click on the description bar of any of the videos I post. Please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. Uh, I do readings full time, five to six days a week. It is what I do. So turnaround time is pretty good. I work pretty diligently with everyone's schedules and I do a wide variety of readings of all different types and lengths in all main areas of life. So if you're interested, send me an email and we'll go from there. You can also find me on the smartphone app Instant Go under Irish Gypsy and that link is also provided. Okay, let's move into this reading. This reading is for the air sign of Aquarius for the month of February 2019. Let us see what February has in store for our Aquarians. Okay, Aquarius, we begin around the first week or so. Uh, oh, also, we usually almost always say this, make sure to check your rising and your moon sign videos as well, because in general readings, of course, there's so many of you watching, they're always gonna resonate a little differently for everybody. Okay, so around the first week or so of February, we have the Two of Wands, followed by the King of Wands. Around the second week or so, we have the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the Queen of Pentacles. Around the third week or so, we have the Ace of Swords, followed by the Nine of Pentacles. And around the last week of February, we have Temperance, followed by the Eight of Cups. From the bottom of the deck, your crowning card representing overall energy and guidance and focus, we have the Fool. Okay, Aquarius. Well, your crowning card from the bottom of the deck Aquarius for the month of February uh, represents the overall focus, the overall energy of the month and guidance. We have the Fool, the Major Arcana card of the Fool, my favorite Major Arcana card in the Tarot. He is the first Major Arcana card in the Tarot deck. He's at the zero. He's just starting out. All the cards after the Fool. Uh, the last major arcana card in the deck is the world. So the fool, everything after the fool is about the fool's journey through life, which is our journey through life and trials and errors and success and failures and learning and growing and evolving until we get to the end of the world where we've completed uh, that part of the journey. So the fool is all about starting over a fresh new beginning, considering the promise and the possibility and the potential of a new start. It might be a new start that's completely different, might feel a little bit risky. It's definitely stepping off the beaten path because the fool uh, is a trailblazer. He's not so concerned with reaching his destination. He knows he'll get there eventually in the manner that he's meant to. Uh, the fool can be doing something different, doing something in a completely different way. It's about considering the possibilities of a brand new beginning, what lies ahead, the potential, as something is coming to an end or as something has come to an end. So it looks like over the month of February, Aquarius, you are definitely uh, exploring, perhaps starting over in a brand fresh new way, even though that way might feel a little bit risky or stepping off the beaten path. Some people might, uh, I kind of get the feeling that you may be talking with some people about this or about the possibility of this. And some people might be saying, you know, are you sure this is what you want to do? You know, there's a lot of risk attached to this or that's crazy. Why would you want to do that? 
uh, but it's definitely this is the general era and general energy of February considering a brand new beginning which also would represent having to leave something behind as well and trying to make up your mind as to what you want to do moving forward which is how we begin the month with the first week or so with the two of wands and the king of wands so the two of wands is a card that represents as you can see being at a crossroads trying to make a decision do i go left do i go right uh, do i choose this path or do i choose or stay on this path the key to choosing what path is correct for this person on the card is really in long-term thinking and planning if the path the choices in front of you are confusing you right now perhaps because some of them may come with a lot of emotion attached to them or emotional consequences uh, it the key to choosing to making the right decision in the two of wands is looking down the road it's about taking a step back out of the emotions of what's going on right now and going okay what do I really want long term and this works for any area of your life some of you this might be in the relationship area or marriage area of your life for some of you it might be in job work and career it might be on your spiritual path do I stay on the path that I'm on or do I make a different decision so take a step back away from just temporarily away from the emotions that might be clouding you right now Aquarius and look down the road long term if this is in the relationship area of your life look down the road long term what kind of a relationship do you really want to be in can you envision yourself being in a year from now five years from now 20 years from now where do you want to be in the relationship area of your life and then take a look at where you are in that area of your life right now if the place that you're at if the relationship that you're in doesn't fit where what you really want to have long term ask yourself can I make changes is there anything that I can do in staying in this current situation that will propel us down the road towards this ultimate goal and if not then you need to make a decision to do something different or live in acceptance with what you have right now the same with job work and career if you're trying to make up your mind whether to do something different take a different job maybe explore a different career path take a look you need to have a long-term goal set or at least of the vision of what you want to have uh, and if where you are now doesn't match that if it's not at least putting you on a path that is leading you closer to it then you need to explore making some different decisions so it's about thinking long term in order to make the right decision here now what clarifies it is the king of wands which is going to be a little different depending on uh, you know there's a lot of you Aquarians watching for some of you this might be an actual individual uh, maybe an uh, it's fire energy it's one so it could be uh, Leo Aries Sagittarius uh, person Sun moon or rising showing up as a king but it could be a female as well it could be that the person you are thinking of you are trying to make the decision about is this king of wands for some of you for whom this might resonate as a relationship reading it may be that this king of wands or somebody who's manifesting very much like the king of wands could be somebody that you're currently in a relationship with uh, somebody that you may be trying thinking about pursuing a relationship with or trying to figure out what you want to do about this certain individual and it might be a bit difficult for you uh, because the king of wands could be a very magnetic fiery passionate uh, individual as well uh, for others of you for whom this might not be uh, in the nature of a relationship reading it might be more in the in the it might fall for you for some of you in job work and career I feel like the king of wands makes decisions very decisively the king of wands would take a look at whatever choices were in front of him and go okay well this is my long-term goal and this path here is what's going to take me to my long-term goal so that's the path that I'm going to choose regardless of what I have to leave and say goodbye to because he's very assertive or she's very assertive about that it's about being knowing what you want and going after that dealing with what you have to deal with uh, in order to put yourself on the path that's ultimately going to put you in a place of joy and fulfillment anyway the same is true for spiritual path as well And I feel like for a lot of you, whether this is a relationship or whether this is in the job work career or even a spiritual path that some of you may be thinking of, I feel like the place that you're at or that you have been at, you've been there for quite some time. It's an established path and, and it looks like it's a path that may, 
you know, have a fair amount of stability and security or long term, a lot of effort or time put into it. And that may be one of the reasons why you're kind of going back and forth. Well, if I leave this place of history and security and stability and everything that it's been for all this time, you know, uh, to explore this brand new beginning that I don't know anything about, I'm stepping off the beaten path, it's kind of risky, is this going to be worth it for me? You know, so maybe feeling a little nervous about that which it looks like it's what you're thinking about um, around the second week or so. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, both Earth Energy cards here, uh, which is what governs this, the suit of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles tends to usually represent cycles ending or a sense of culmination and fulfillment. The Ten of Pentacles used to be referred to as the Inheritance card. What does Inheritance really mean? Inheritance means something that you get a present sense of abundance and and that gives you stability and security. Uh, but it comes from the long, slow accumulation of what went into building it up. Uh, there's a strong connection with family to this card too and home. It could be family money, family business, family estate. You know, uh, a lot of work and effort and time and money or whatever went into um, building uh, up this sense of abundance to where it is now. There's a lot behind it, a lot that went into it. It can represent a long-term marriage, a long-term job or successful retirement, family business. It can represent for some of you actual inheritance uh, as well. Some of you, some of you may be uh, receiving an inheritance or waiting to receive an inheritance or some kind of division of assets. And you may be thinking, this is exactly what I need to take this path that I've always thought about taking but really couldn't do before. Um, some of you, this may be representing, you know, a long-term relationship or marriage that you may be contemplating uh, leaving as well. But again, you're kind of unsure about that. It feels a bit risky because this long-term relationship or marriage that you're in, you know, you've, there's been a lot of work and effort and time put into it. It has, you know, a significant amount of stability and security about it as well. Uh, some of you may be thinking about selling uh, fam a piece of fam uh, selling some family property, a family home, or even a family business as well. But again, trying to make up your mind about what to do about that. And the Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, which might represent a, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn a female that may be significant here or attached to this. But it also represents somebody who's quite stable and secure in her own right. Kings and queens represent individuals who've reached the top of their suit. They've uh, reached a point of self-mastery and control uh, in the character traits which are inherent to their suit. And pentacles, you know, often manifest in things we can see and touch and feel. Stability, security, money, finances, property, etc. Uh, so she's a pretty solid, stable, secure person. So again, I, I feel like a lot of you have this idea or this opportunity you're considering taking. You're not quite sure which path to take because it's a general reading and we try to cover, you know, all areas for people. Again, it could be leaving a long-term established stable relationship or marriage. It could be leaving an established job, work, or career path. It's always when I'm doing a reading, something pops up on my screen. Apologize for that if the sound came through. Uh, you may be thinking about leaving uh, a secure or established job or career path to strike out on your own. Some of you, this may be more dollars and cents related. It could be an inheritance issue or it could have something to do with family family property, a family home or family business of some kind. Um, there may be some actual proceeds coming to you that might enable you to take on a project or start an entrepreneurial thing that you've always thought about doing as well. There's the sense of leaving something established behind in order to branch out on your own and get a sense of your own and get your own sense of independence and self-sufficiency and self-empowerment, getting some new ideas, some new information and having a, a new perspective on how to do that. 
uh, which is what the energy of the third week of February with the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. So Aces represent the number one. So they always represent a new beginning, a new start, or the potential and opportunity for that. Swords is air energy. It's about how we think, ideas, words, belief systems. This is a new idea, a new perspective, an epiphany, something coming in. It usually represents um, some success that comes in, seeing something as it really is, seeing something with new eyes, new perspectives. Now, and it's generally considered a card of success as well. It's because it's success that comes from, it's the opportunity to succeed at something, to be successful at something based on taking, based on getting a new perspective or new information that allows you to see something in a different way, to see it for what it actually really is. Now that's, it's kind of like the light bulb, the epiphany moment, the light bulb going off over your head. Now what clarifies the Ace of Swords is the Nine of Pentacles, which is the card of independence, self-sufficiency, self-empowerment, uh, reaping the rewards of your hard work, everything that she's currently enjoying, which implies a sense of luxury or comfort, stability. Nobody's handed anything to her on a silver platter. Uh, she or he has worked for everything they're currently enjoying. It's as a result of their hard work, nobody else's. It's a card about being very happy and content with who you are, being able to take care of yourself, not needing to depend on or rely uh, on anyone else. Uh, unless you choose to out of a sense of want, not out of a sense of need. So independence, self-sufficiency, self-empowerment, it's often associated with independence. It doesn't necessarily mean independence in terms of leaving a relationship, um, but just having a sense of your own self-worth and self-value and being able to indulge in things, uh, taking care of yourself and the comfort and knowing that that comes from your own work and not from being dependent on somebody else. So it looks like there's new information a new perspective on perhaps how to achieve this sense of independence because I feel like regardless of whether this is in the personal relationship area of your life, in the spiritual path area of your life, or in the career uh, path or job area of your life, I feel like this crossroads, what you're thinking of doing, exploring this brand new potential, this new beginning, stepping off the beaten path, maybe doing something that's a bit risky that not everybody's going to approve of, or they might not think that you're thinking straight. Ultimately, what you're wanting to do is branch out on your own to see what you are made of, to see what your self-worth, your capabilities are, to be able to have that sense of independence and self-empowerment that comes from that. Whether you're in a relationship or whether you're not in a relationship, it doesn't really matter. This is about knowing what you're capable of, doing what you're capable of, um, receiving the rewards from that and really enjoying that in a very self-empowered way. Now at or towards the end of February 2019, we have temperance, and the Eight of Cups. So temperance is about staying balanced, staying grounded, not being too spontaneous and impulsive, not letting your emotions run your mouth or make the decisions for you. Being grounded means that temperance is, is like being in the middle of a seesaw or a teeter-totter. When you're in the center, you know who you are. You know what your worth is. You know what you want. You know what you're going for. You know who you are. And when you're in the middle, you're less likely and grounded in that you're not really likely to be swayed or greatly influenced by external or outside uh, circumstances or people. Uh, if you're not grounded, it's kind of like being on the outer ends of the seesaw and teeter-totter, and you're at the mercy of all kinds of external elements, the weather, situations, people's opinions, your own doubts and fears, etc. It's about being in the middle and knowing who you are, knowing who you want to be, and being very firm and grounded in that and having a peace about that. It's about being very grounded. Uh, now, what clarifies temperance is the Eight of Cups, which is the card of leaving, of walking away, of leaving something behind you which has run its course, or perhaps it turned out differently than what you thought. There is sometimes a sense of disappointment and disillusionment in what uh, these tipped over cups represent, and that is why this man has made up his mind, or woman, to turn their back on what these cups represent, because it's not bringing joy or fulfillment. You may not be entirely certain about the direction you're going in or the future. You're still surveying the horizon. But look, he's dressed for travel. Hat on, cloak on, 
walking stick in his hand. He's surveying the horizon. He's not sure what lies ahead. Some of it looks smooth, some of it looks rocky, but he knows that what's behind him is no longer for him. So it's a card about leaving that behind to explore this brand new beginning. So it looks like I think a lot of you Aquarians are going to be making the decision at the end of the month, or at least by the end of the month, or being very close to that, about leaving behind what may have brought some stability and security, but not the sense of independence and self-empowerment. And that I think ultimately is what you're wanting. And I think what a lot of you are going to be choosing, regardless of how difficult or challenging that path might bring. Uh, let us just pull you one final advice card for the month of February, Aquarius. <laughs> strength. What a beautiful advice card. Face your fears, your doubts, your insecurities. This is really about self-mastery over bad habits, bad patterns, fears, doubts, insecurities, uh, wrestling with our demons, self-mastery and self-control, facing those, walking through those, which takes strength, uh, wisdom, insight, humility, courage. It's also what we gain more of by going through this. You can see that she has tamed quite gently with temperance, love, and compassion. She has tamed quite gently just by facing her fears and dealing with them. This lion, which is symbolic for fears, doubts, insecurities, bad habits, bad ways of thinking, uh, negative patterns. And she is moving forward rather courageously into her future with her head held up high. And she's in motion. You can tell by the flow of her dress and the flow of her hair, she is moving forward. This is, she is in motion. Uh, it doesn't, she's moving forward courageously, maybe not completely fearlessly, but courageously. She's facing her fears. She has reached a point of self-mastery with them. And even though she may still be feeling them, she is definitely moving through them and beyond them. And strength is what it takes. And strength is more of what you're going to gain by doing this. So regardless of the decision you make, Aquarius, whether it's to move forward or stay where you're at, do not let your fear be the thing that stops you or makes the decision for you. Do not let negative thinking, fears, and insecurities be what makes the decision for you, regardless of what that decision is. So Aquarius, that pretty much sums up your reading for February 2019. I hope you found it helpful and useful. Again, if any of you would be interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, live or recorded, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to uh, work with you. I can usually get back to you within the same day or the first 24 hours uh, of initial contact. I do uh, a wide variety of readings of different types and lengths in all the main areas of life, love and romance, of course, compatibility charting, career work and finance, investment readings, uh, past on messages uh, or messages from past on loved ones as long as there was an, uh, an emotional connection there and it has been a while um, and I also do six and 12 month overviews uh, which you can do at any time during the year but they seem to be particularly popular at the end of one year and the beginning of another it takes a look at what's coming in all the main areas of, of your life over the next six or 12 months depending on how far ahead you want to look uh, so something to consider as well you can also find me on the smartphone app instant go under Irish Gypsy and that link is also provided and that app is really good for quick fast questions to uh, our quick fast answers to uh, some of the quick simple questions uh, and y you can find that link also with the rest of my contact details which you can get by either clicking on the description bar of any of the videos I post or you can go to my YouTube channel's homepage and click on the little about button there so Aquarius I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the February 2019 mid-month general readings and until then as always I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Take care, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.